Hi, welcome to Tuesdays with Tara. I'm Tara Bunnens, and today I'm going to talk a little bit more about worth. I'm going to offer you an exercise for release and acceptance. And then we're going to do a little bit of clearing of the energy that wants to go and acceptance of the energy that wants to come in. And so get ready, grab a piece of paper and something to write with. And if you like to smudge or if you know what smudging is or clearing space, go ahead and grab whatever tools that you would normally use to clear your space. Otherwise, I'll do that for you. So now that you have all your stuff in front of you, take a piece of paper and on that paper, you're going to draw four lines straight down lengthwise and kind of even spaced across. And at the top of the page, I'm going to have you write a few things. So for the first corner here, see how I've done the four lines. And for the first corner, you're going to write release, what it is that you're going to let go of. Then you're going to write trash or, or throw away next to it, sell and give away. Okay. So after you've written those across the top, I would love to do a quick little check-in meditation so that we get grounded and in our bodies. And then I'm going to tell you exactly what to do with that paper. So go ahead and sit back, get comfortable for a moment. We're just going to take a brief little body scan and presencing meditation. So close your eyes when you're ready. Take a deep breath. And let's start with our feet, making sure that your feet are firmly planted on the floor. Feel your toes, wiggle your toes around a little bit. Feel whatever is underneath your feet. Bring your body into comfortable, conscious, connected presence with your feet. And then scanning on up your legs, notice any discomfort that you have in your body and just be mindful of it. And then release. Noticing your knees and the tops of your legs, releasing, relaxing, becoming present and grounded. Hips, butt, low abdomen, low back. Moving on up your torso, middle back, middle of your body, your organs. Moving up your chest and into the upper back, noticing anything that's tight, breathing, releasing, getting grounded and centered in your body. Shoulders, moving down into your fingers, hands, releasing any tension, arms, back up to your shoulders, breathing and grounding into your body, feeling really, really present as you feel each part of your body, moving up into your upper chest, neck and throat, releasing, getting firmly grounded and centered, face, back of your head, and the top of your head, getting very much in your body, noticing the space around you, any sounds, in the room, the temperature of the room, just paying attention to the space you are in and feeling your body in that space here and present. Go ahead and lift your hands gently and just gently tap the top of your head, basically saying to yourself, I'm here. I'm here. Now take those hands and just gently tap your chest. I am here, I am here. Do the same thing with the tops of your legs. I am here, tapping your legs. I am here. 
kind of just tapping your feet on the floor. I am here, I am here. Take a deep breath. And when you feel ready, open your eyes. Okay, good. Now that we're here, present in our bodies and ready to take on this exercise, think about things that you are now really needing to let go of. And then also take into consideration some things that you may not need to let go of, but you're ready to let go of. Things that just no longer serve you. Take just a moment and in that first column to the far left of your paper where you wrote release, go ahead and write down the, each thing that you're ready to let go of. And if you want to write a line across the whole page, just like I did here, I already have lines, but I went ahead and wrote a line across and did the same thing with the next one. So just write down things that you're, you know you're ready to let go of and that maybe you've been putting it off for one reason or another. Write those in that first column and then come back. Go ahead and in the trash, sell, and give away columns, really look at each individual thing. For the first thing you wrote down, are you ready to just throw it away? Are you ready to sell it? Or are you ready to give it to someone? And if you know exactly who you're gonna give it to, write that person's name in that square. So put a check mark under trash, sell, or give away. And then if you know who you're gonna sell it to or where you're gonna sell it, write that under the sell, you know, if you're checking off sell, write that under the sell uh, check. If you know who you're gonna give it away to and that's the one that you've checked, write that person's name underneath. Friends, family, thrift stores, and there might be places where you can take things that are donation places like the Kidney Foundation or Dress for Success for Women, uh, you know, to shelters, things like that. There's places that we can give things away that may not come to mind right away, but there's so many places. If you look online, you can find any kind of place that says, where do I give things away? And, and they'll give you a list of places in your local area. And then if you're ready to sell it, there's places that you can sell things like Marketplace through Facebook or Craigslist or your local next door neighborhood kind of website. And of course you can sell it uh, to friends. You can sell it at a yard sale. You can sell it at consignment shops. So there's other things that you can do besides just decide you know who you're gonna sell it to and then, and then think that's the only option that I have. So I wrote down a couple of things, just as an example, I have a, a, a horse bouncer that my little uh, son used to play on all the time. And he's not so little anymore, he's big. And so we're ready to give uh, this away. And his cousin, Frankie, is having a birthday this weekend. So we decided we're gonna give that bouncer to Frankie. At first I was going to sell it and I tried selling it online for a while and it didn't sell. And so when Frankie's birthday came up, we thought that's the best thing to do, but we do need to let it go. It's something that's taking up a lot of space and it's time for it to move on. Now, if we didn't have a family member or a friend that we could give it to, we would probably end up eventually taking it to a thrift store. So once you have your list and you've checked off all the boxes and you've written who and where those things are possibly gonna go, come back to me and we're gonna talk about it a little bit more. Okay, now that you are back, you've made your list, you've checked off all the places that those things are gonna go, let's go a little deeper. Let's think about things that we haven't used in a while. So if you want to, you can create a whole new list or keep adding to the list you already have and start thinking about things like furniture, kitchen items, things that have been sitting in your bathroom that aren't being used, but could be given away or gotten rid of. Things that are in your desk, okay? Think about things like that. Think about things that are in your kid's room that maybe now's the time to teach them about giveaway or selling and that they can help with the sale of that item and then they can make some money towards other things that they might wanna purchase for themselves. Think about your room, your bedroom, 
And think about pictures that are hanging on the wall that just don't serve you anymore. Things that don't really fit your style, but you're having a hard time letting it go. Maybe now's a good time to consider giving those things away. Now, how does all this equate to worth? There's so many ways that this can equate to worth. The biggest way is that you are worth the space being cleared. And the reason for that is because clutter contains an energy of lack. Clutter that we're holding on to, things that we no longer need, that we're keeping in our lives, equate to lack. And that's because we're afraid to let it go because we may not, we may need it later. We may not be feeling comfortable about the sentimental value of it, but we're realizing it's taking up a lot of space in our house. So the more we clear clutter, the more we let go of lack, we release lack and we create space for abundance. Now, first and foremost, that abundance is going to look like space. You're going to have an abundance of space that you didn't have before. You may realize that you don't need to refill that space. Okay, so it could be pictures on the wall that those things come off and you've had pictures that have been sitting in storage that you can replace it with or you don't have to put anything on that wall. You might end up deciding to put a set of shelves there that contain special items that you've been wanting to bring out. So just think about how this equates to abundance and worth by releasing and letting go of things to create space. The second way that it creates abundance is for the things that you're going to sell of course, you're bringing in more financial support for your family, for your home. So when we think about all of this stuff, it can bring up a lot of chaos, a lot of fear, a lot of frustration, a lot of discomfort, a lot of sadness. When we move, when we create space, when we start packing things into boxes that we've held and carried and kept for a very long time, it brings up energy that's connected to that stuff. And also even just the dust that collects around our things has collected from energy that has been released through the weeks, months, or years that you've had that thing. Okay. So just know that moving, packing, and releasing things doesn't just have the release of the things. It has the release of all the energy that's connected to it. So give yourself permission as you release the things that you put on this list, then you'll start thinking of more things you can let go of. Write those on the list. What are you going to do with them? Become very focused and hyper aware, hyper clear that this is going to mean something more for you in the long run. Whereas holding on to it, all that does is equate to not being able to let go to lack, to fear, and to sadness, because those things are already holding that energy, which is why we feel it when we're getting rid of it. Okay, so that stuff is already holding that energy. Once we clear it and get rid of it, it's gone. It's out of our space. So just be with it for a little while. Take the time to make this list. Take the time to figure out where those things are going to go, and then dig a little deeper. If it really truly has deep sentimental value to you and it brings you joy when you see that item, don't let it go. But if you really hold on something, if you're holding something and you're looking at it, and you're thinking, does this bring me joy? And you don't have an answer. Most likely that means it doesn't bring you joy because when you're looking at that thing, it should uplift your energy. It should bring your energy up. Right. And if it doesn't, if it's just kind of like flat or kind of, low energy, low vibration, it's time to let it go. Okay. So this practice is something that you can come back to over and over and over again. So it's all about just getting clear and deciding to let things go. When we do that, we create a space for abundance and for self-worth, self-comfort, peace of mind, releasing the old that no longer serves us. And so once you're finished with your list, let's take a little moment to do a smudge because even though we're not going to be clearing the stuff right this minute, I'm going to go ahead and clear the energy around the stuff so that as we are moving through it, we remember, you know what, I've already let this go in my mind and in my heart. 
We've already cleared that energy. It makes it a little easier to move that stuff out of your house. Once that stuff is cleared out, you can do another whole clearing for your house. One of the ways you can clear energy is to clap, sing, make sounds, snap. Another way you can do it is to burn sage, spray essential oils around your house, open windows, open doors, let that energy clear out, okay? Because once you've pulled those things out of your house and they're not in the house anymore, you definitely want to do some kind of clearing of any old attached energies that might be still holding on from those things. Once that space is clear, you have an open container for the new energy. That doesn't mean new stuff necessarily. It just means new energy that allows for abundance, prosperity, and money, 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 worth, 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 positive energy, life, love, clarity, peace of mind. All of those things are available to us as we clear what no longer serves us. Okay, so if you're finished with your list for now, let's just take a moment and I'm going to burn some sage, it's just some white sage. Okay. So I'm clearing your space. I'm going to go ahead and clear your list by using mine as proxy, clearing the list and everything on it so that the ease of letting that stuff go is there for you as you release it from your life, from your home, from your space, from your environment, from your experience even. Just remember that there's people out there that need things that we have and maybe don't have the means to get it. And so check in with your local charities. I'm also going to burn some Palo Santo. Check in with your local shelters. Animal shelters sometimes have thrift stores attached to them that raise money for the animals. women's and children's shelters, drug and alcohol clearing centers. Churches and community centers. Clearing space, clearing energy, allowing this smoke to take away any of the dense energies that are surrounding the things that no longer serve us. I'm just gonna go ahead and burn a little bit more sage and let that smoke continue to clear the space as I finish this talk. Good, good, good. So let that smoke Permeate your energy field. Let it clear all the space around you. Let it clear your list vicariously through mine. And just be in that cleared energy for a moment. As you breathe and feel the energy lift off of your energy field, Lift off of your field, out of your space. Somebody's really wanting to clear to look at all that energy being cleared. Beautiful. Allowing that to just keep lifting off whatever energy no longer serves us, clearing it out. You want to hold your list up to this smoke energy. Go ahead and do that now. So 
So now what we're going to do is just fill that energy that's just been cleared out. We're going to fill it with positive light and life and love. So the way we do that is we tap into our hearts, tap into our high heart, and just those chakras, tap on those for a moment, just gently tapping on them to wake them up. The heart is the place, the center of our passion, the center of our happiness and our joy. The high heart is basically where the assemblage point is that helps guide us in our search for our joy and passion or how to create more of that into our life. And of course, the throat is how we get the words out into the world to create our passions and desires into the world. So just tapping into these areas, even the throat chakra, just tapping on, connecting to them. Hello, heart chakra. Hello, high heart. And becoming very mindful of the fact that we've created a positive energy space. We've cleared negative energy. We are calling in our guides now, guides, support system, angels, God, goddess, source, all that is, universe, our team that supports us on all levels, and even our inner voice and our inner knowing, calling all of that in, calling that into our space now to fill us up. Okay, feel that filled up energy, feel the filled up vibration. Good. Allow that to permeate and penetrate into your system, into all the body systems, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, ethereal, on all levels, into your field, okay? Just creating a connection to the light, life, and love that surrounds us right here and right now, embodying it embracing it, accepting it. Go ahead and hug it into your system, hug it into your body. I accept this positive energy. I accept this love, this light, this peace, this trust, this truth that embodies perfection and wholeness for me, knowing that I don't need stuff to define who I am. I don't need things to fill my life with joy and happiness. I accept my good, I accept love, I accept peace, I accept joy, I accept abundance, I accept big, true self-worth energy. I allow myself to live that vibration. So anything that comes into my field is only here to support me in exactly what I need and desire to support me in my life on all levels. Anything that is worth my energy is worth me having. Otherwise, it does not need to be in my space. So I know this for me. I know this for you. Choose to know it for yourself. We thank our guides. We thank our source, energy, life, light, love, peace, joy, abundance, God, goddess, all that is energy. We are so thankful for the support that we have at all times. We can always plug into this energy. We can always tune into this vibration. We release that what no longer serves us. We let go of anything that fills up our energy and brings it down. We let it go now. Let it go. Acceptance of the good. Acceptance of the big, positive, love energy, supportive energy that fills us with joy and abundance. I am so grateful. And so it is. Have fun with this exercise. Come back to it to remember how to fill out that list. Come back to it for more clearing energy. Just take time for yourself to truly embrace the worth and abundance that is your birthright. You deserve it. I give you permission to accept it into your life, to embrace it, to live in it, 
to love yourself in it. Have a blessed and beautiful day. I'll see you next week on Tuesdays with Tara.